Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome back to Anima Gate of Memories. Hmm. <laughs> ah, so, we're back in once more. And. Okay. Back in once more. We're in the Mansion of Puppets, if I'm remembering right for the name. And I opened a door somewhere. Just need to figure out where now. Is it down here? No. Excuse me. Uh, door opened up somewhere, but where? It's not over here, is it? No. was already open. No, not here. Hmm. How puzzling. Sure, a door opened. Where is it? Okay, I guess it's back this way. <clears throat> oh, maybe it was one of the other rooms uh, along here. Oops. Aha! Oh. Mascal entered the hall where the Council of Brax was taking place. The greatest artists and creators of the world met once every decade under those walls. Different civilizations, even non-human creatures were there to show the wonders they had created over the years. Naturally, only the very best could attend, those whose fame had crossed all frontiers. For many of them, just having been invited represented an honor, but to Nascal, it was quite the opposite. They should feel honored by his attendance. The puppet master walked through the room, trying to pass unnoticed. He paid little attention to several uninspired works that only reminded him of why he was superior to everyone else. Nascal smiled ruefully. Although he did not expect too much from others, he had wished to find something to at least rival with his talent. <coughs> Lost in those thoughts, a distant word caught his attention. Someone had mentioned Godinus, the creator of wonders, whose fame had reached even Nascal's ears. Apparently, he had also been invited, and a group of people were talking to him not too far away. Interested by his fame, Nascal approached him to share some anecdotes with a fellow genius. To his surprise, the legendary creator was much younger than he had expected, and was quick to shake his hand and exchange a polite greeting. Nascal was about to ask about the works he was exhibiting in the council, when the whole room became silent. Everyone whispered that Godinus had just arrived. At that moment, the confused Nascal understood what they meant, and a chill of terror ran through his spine. The person he was talking with was not a living being, but a doll, work of Godinus, was what he had heard the people say before. Even if it was only for a moment, the mere idea that he had not noticed such a thing overwhelmed the mind of the puppet master. Frantically, his eyes began to gaze closely at all the works exhibited by Godinus. The mere sight of them burned his retinas, but at the same time, he was unable to look away. 
The feeling of anxiety that oppressed his chest grew until it became pain. He even had trouble breathing in the same room that stored such wonders. Unable to wait anymore, he staggered out of the room and did not stop running until he was outside. Then, Nascal cried and laughed as hard as he could. He had been blind all this time. In his egotism, he thought he was on top of the world when he was only standing on a small hill. Only in that moment did he realize that his work was far from having reached its full potential. That night would change his life completely. He would create greater works. He would surpass Godimus, surpass them all. From that moment, his obsession would be perfection. Oh boy. Oh crap. Uh, oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Boom. Okay, 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 okay. Shoot. Okay, okay. okay. Whew. Okay. It was caught a little off guard there. It's fine, though. Everything's fine. Okay, so the rival is Gautamus. And that painting is out here as well. Oh, whoops. Got turned around. Some enemies are invincible if you don't find their weak spots. Look for them carefully. Oh, that's a problem. God. Uh... Must. Oop, here we go. And then. Yes. What'd that do? that do? Okay. So I can re-examine them, so it's not that I got some... Oh! Prison key? Prison key? Why is there a prison key? What? Okay, well, I got a key for somewhere. Hmm, okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> the Wars in the Shadow is the name, yeah. Oh, wait, maybe that's in the basement. I didn't go to the basement. This place... This is part of the map. Yes. But ah. Okay. We'll need at least three memories. So if I say bring up this one. One more. Ah, but I choose. I'm going to see if I can bring up all five. And see what that does. Let's see. Run. Soon we'll level up again, which is nice. Whoops. Wee. Oh, hi. Oop. 
Well. So what was the picture in here? The Sister of Fate. Okay. Whoop. Hmm. Now, funny enough, I was talking with um, a friend of mine they told me, like, I had no idea that Anima was actually a uh, tabletop, like a tabletop game similar to, like, D&D, &D, that kind of stuff. I genuinely had no clue. So I thought that was an interesting little, uh, little tidbit. Wreck him, Ergo. Get him. There we go. There we go. Okay. Not much longer. Let's check out this basement. our best date ever Oh god, well. Oh, that's just auto kill. Okay, fine. Come on! Alright, okay, we're through. Do I go for that or do I search other spots? Huh. 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 
Gabriel Ring. Okay, what does that do? Defense plus 10, magic defense plus 5. Um... Okay, so you can use the Uriel ring now. Fragment, okay. Use it. Oh, okay, that one opened up. Ah, it heads upstairs, okay. Oh, whoa, hi. Oh god. Whew. Whew. Okay. Oh, we're so close to leveling. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so what's... What's over this way? Blood. Hello? I only remember the blood. What kind of monster am I? No. Don't free me. Don't free him. I am sorry, World Walkers. I have nothing to say. Don't free. I mean, I don't know if I'll get enough keys to free them all. Uh, five. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Go, go, go. Hello? I am nobody. I have never been. But somewhere in this prison is my wife. Free her. She will know how to reward you. Okay. I am the one who devours everything. The one who stands over creation itself. I am the power. Nice chat. Ooh, what's this? Can't do anything about this? Huh. Guess not. Well, it goes deeper. The hell? Everything Hello? is confusing. I was a creator. The greatest of all. But I committed a sin. Now, I have only what I deserve. Okay... I have no importance. There is nothing I can do for you. My husband, 
He is imprisoned in this place. Free him. He says to free you, though. I'm just a merchant. And if I had a name, I do not remember it now. Open this door, and I promise you that I'll know how to thank you. Hmm. Don't want to trust any of them. Passages. They echo in my head like screams. Stop them. Make them stop. The hell, man. I mean, I could free her, I guess. Her husband said she would know how to reward me. Hmm. Then again, she says she doesn't know. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, a break. Uh, uh. Oh, whoa, what? Passage? What the hell is this? Main body, mansion of pup. What? In main body. Oh. Is that to open this door? It is. Hi? I didn't free you. So you really do have the ability to move between rooms in Arcane. You're definitely different from the rest. You're the entity that we saw before in the central room. Correct. But it would be better if you don't ask silly questions like who I am or what I'm doing here. I can't answer what I don't know. You're different from the other shadows. Because I have awareness of everything around me? You could say that. I've seen more like you. They were locked in a prison. I tried to talk to them, but they were not lucid. Nor will they ever be as long as they're there. For many of them, that's not where they belong. In their correct rooms, they would be more lucid, as you say. So I just need to free them? You can't release them. It would be impossible for you. The tower won't allow it. They're too entrenched in their memories. And do you think that some bars will be a huge impediment? Idiot. What imprisons them may seem to be metal bars easy for you to bend and destroy. But I assure you, it's much more than that. Each place is a whole existence by itself. It's the very concept of a prison which contains them. So there's no huh. way? I didn't say that. I said it was impossible. You. But why are you 
interested. Do you have some relationship with any of them? A few seem to have relevant information for us. Interesting. I think I'll help you with this. It may be worth contemplating what will happen. Can you do it? Every gate has an exit. Every prison a way out. Just as there are doors, there are also keys in the tower. They can open them. Here's one. It will open any door, but only one. Like I said, they're more in Arcane. You only need to find them. But it would be better if you were both very careful when choosing which prisoners to release. Not all of them tell the truth. Not everyone deserves to be imprisoned. Not everyone deserves to be freed. Choose well. It will break consequences. Ah, crap. And even if you find all the keys, in the end, one door will remain locked. Now go. I'm done talking. Oh, thanks. Prison key obtained. Okay. So there's one door, one specific door that we shouldn't open. One prisoner that we shouldn't free. Okay. Okay, what's down here? Ooh, a thing. Holy Claymore. Well, if it's holy, that makes me think that, uh... You know who should be wielding it. Ooh, 20. Okay. Boom. Yeah, it doesn't help him at all, so we'll just leave that. Okay. Nice. We got a new weapon. Okay, so I'm not going to free any of them yet. But we did have a new door open up, which I can go check. Boom. 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 What? Yeah, there we go. Oh, hi. Hello. Die. Actually, how close am I? Oh, wow. I'm very close to leveling. Let's level up before we go up there. Since it should only take a minute. Level up. Bam. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Oh, hi. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Skill tree. Okay, so we're at level four now. Reduce the magic point cost and increase both the magic damage and movement speed of the beam. Required level four. Okay. Yeah, I think I will just upgrade the beam. 
So that means... Yep, I can do a lot more of them. What do you got? Uh, ranged magic attack that seeks all the closest enemy in its path. Air beam. Come on. Sending aerial attack that affects all enemies in its path. Breaker properties. Ascending attack that launches enemies in the air. No, I think I'll go for this. Air beam. So, where is that assigned? Circle. <coughs> okay, she has the dive attack and the magic beam. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to call it here for now. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a... Wait. Wait a minute. What's it saying about level? Oh, we have two skill points per level up. Okay. So I can get something else. Jeez. Um, hmm. Seeks close to enemy. Yeah. Um, I mean, it could. What's that? Support spell. Increased defense and magic defense for 30 seconds. Dodge while you're in the air. Ah! Ascending attack that launches... Um... You know what? I'll, I'll give her the, the beam, too. Air beam. There you go. And that means he can get one more. Hmm. <clears throat> Descending aerial striker breaker properties. Uh, yeah, sure. Dive attack. Okay, so how does he do dive? Triangle. So in the air, triangle, boom. Okay, and then for her, in the air, circle. Boom. Okay, now we're good. Alright. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for Anima Gate of Memories on Steam, if you'd like to try it for yourself. Although this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. And, well, in the next part... We're going to head upstairs. Uh, at the end of the next part, I'm going to make sure to save. Like, I'm going to leave the area and save at the lantern. Just to make sure. But we're going to go upstairs, see what we can find. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day. And I'll see ya. <laughs> ah! <laughs>